What's up? It's Lucia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's my first day back to work after my long vacation So we're getting right back at it. It's a little bit of a slap in the face, not gonna lie But we're gonna make it through. I started early with a yoga class at Sinyoka Garage I'm starting my new monthly membership there. It was a good class It was a vinyasa flow and they had more core workouts than normal. So that was a good start I just took a shower did all of my little morning routine I've already went through all the emails <laughs> that I had waiting for me. There were 500 emails in my inbox It was crazy. Cheers. Happy Monday. I am having this coffee if you watch my vlog from last Last week I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and I got these new K cups. I just tried it this morning and it's actually really really good. So that's exciting. New favorite coffee unlocked. Getting back to using my Keurig after a while. And it's like 57 degrees today, so it is feeling like fall, which is fun. Yeah, just threw on a set active set. I'm gonna take on the work week. If you're new here, I'm Lucia. I am 23 and I live in Chicago and I work in marketing, so that's my nine to five. And I'm working from home today, but I think I'm gonna go in the office at least once or twice this week, which will be really fun. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for a new video every Tuesday. Let's take on the week. Okay, it's our already noon or nine. I've just been getting right back at it, following up with my manager about everything that I miss. There's a bunch of campaigns going on. In my new role, it's a lot more client focused. So when I'm gone, it's a little bit harder to get back into it because there's a lot of client communication that happened last week that I just have no clue about. So I'm just getting up to speed still. And I had a panel I was speaking at at 11. So I just got done with that. It was fun. I'm in this like extracurricular at my job, which is basically about early career professionals. And they asked me to be a panelist for talking about like my experience promoted so that's fun i look you have like a lot of panels that i'm doing today because it's early career week at my company so i had that panel today i have a panel that i'm facilitating on wednesday two panels one in the morning and one at night time and then on thursday it's not a panel but i'm speaking at this competition that i'm helping put together the company so i feel like a very involved person this week which is making me realize maybe i'm over involving myself a little bit but also i love speaking so these are all like fun so that's the vibe i'm currently in my room because my boyfriend is taking calls in the other room and I have this panel here so I just have my laptop right here this very uncomfortable desk situation and I hate taking calls from my room so this week we're actually coordinating like when we're going into the office so we're not working from home on the same days but Monday is our one day that we're working from home on the same days that was my main call for the day and the others are short calls and then one of my other calls like my weekly check-in call got canceled because there's like an urgent thing going on that's my day I'm gonna go make some breakfast because I'm starving what's up it's now 7 p.m. work went a little bit over today I pretty much just finished which is kind of crazy and unusual but i guess it's because i was gone for like four days so it makes sense i needed some fresh air i'm doing some video editing today so i decided to go on a little hot girl walk while vicente's on a run on the 606 it'll probably just be like 10 or 20 minutes because i have a lot of editing to do but it's so beautiful the sun is kind of setting in the background you can see so pretty i am obsessed with the 606 i think it's so peaceful and just makes me feel amazing after a work day and it's always good to get fresh air after i've been staring at a screen and we'll continue to stare at a screen later tonight we're making ravioli for dinner so we'll do that probably watch some football and then I'll edit and go to bed and I'm gonna try fingers crossed to make a 6 a.m. workout tomorrow but I just have a feeling I'm gonna have to skip it so I can get more sleep which I feel like is a little bit more important maybe do a nighttime workout I don't know we'll see I just have a lot to do tonight so I will catch up with you guys tomorrow and tomorrow's an office day and we have a happy hour so I think it'll be really fun bye hey guys happy Tuesday I just got to work I'm in one of our little like wellness room thingies and I was running late this morning I was able to do like some emails on the train though but I only ended up being 15 minutes late so honestly not bad okay really simple and cozy and I barely put on makeup thought it was gonna be warm and sunny today but it's kind of cloudy and overcast i don't like wearing too much makeup when it's hot outside but i probably could have worn more but it's fine my top is from express it's their body contour collection i love the square cut normal jewelry and then these are some trousers from princess polly and then new balance sneakers so there's the fit i got a lot of stuff to do today i need myself a little espresso shot let's set up the work day i logged off of work a little bit early i'm staying at my doctor's appointment i also realized i never updated you guys i did not wake up for the 6 a.m workout class i canceled the night before because i was up late editing this week is really hitting me with a ton of bricks but we're making it through i just had a salad box there for lunch and i just had calls pretty much all day and then ending early doesn't help either and also i just realized i don't have my id which is really really bad and i think i have a picture of it on my phone so i'm hoping they'll accept that at the doctor's office because if not then this was all for nothing so <laughs> fingers crossed time to go to the doctor's office <laughs> 
Okay, I made it back to my apartment. It's now 5 or 6 p.m. I am so tired. Like, literally, what a day, you guys. Also, update the doctor's office. Did not even ask for my ID, which is a little concerning, but I'm gonna roll with it. I know I'm super open about having celiac disease and my journey with that. And I'm still gonna make a video about, like, my entire journey. But it's definitely an ongoing thing. So, I think a lot of, like, the symptoms that I'm having are with celiac disease. So, I'm going to see a GI doctor in the next couple months. My doctor suggested I see annually. If you have celiac, which I feel like some of you do. A little tip. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. Not giving out medical advice but it never hurts to go to a specialist especially when you have a chronic condition so i logged off a bit early i am gonna log on a bit more to finish up some work and just see if any client emails came through then i'm gonna edit some tiktoks and probably just have a chill night in maybe i'll go for a walk a little bit later i'm just like honestly exhausted so i'm gonna immediately change into something cozier hey guys i changed into a steep mat and exercise dress and if you watched my last vlog which was like my reset vlog <laughs> i went to aldi and they were at the chicken so now i'm on a mission to see if they have chicken because we're making to eat us tonight. Yes, they have it. Let's fucking go. Secured the bag, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Vicente and I are literal chefs. Look at this whole production we got going on here. We have chicken in the air fryer, beans in the pot, peppers on the stove, tortillas on the paper towel. <laughs> we are killing it. We got guac in these little to-go packets. We started episode one of The Crown, and I think it's so good. I'm obsessed with it. Good morning, you guys. It's Wednesday. I made it to my workout class this morning. I'm so proud of myself. And I'm gonna take a shower. Cheers. Protein cheek time. <laughs> now 11 i had my panel that i was leading at 9 but we had a prep call at 8 45 and i was so stressed this morning getting ready for it not because i was really nervous i mean i always get a little bit nervous before like speaking in front of things but i was just so stressed about getting ready in time for it and i was like trying to straighten my hair and everything and i ended up just going with the glasses to look more studious but Vicente was leaving to go into the office today and i was like don't talk to me and i was so stressed but everything worked out and the panel went good and now i'm just chirping along at the work day you guys haven't moved work from home days are not very eventful but i just hope opened a lime LaCroix. I'm so into LaCroix recently. I don't know why. They're just really easy, good pick-me-ups. I don't feel like they're bad for you. Something I should probably be more intentional about. I'm really trying to work on my diet and everything. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a hot girl walk. I've been stuck in here and I, I need to get some air. Okay, it's now 4.13. I'm, 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 okay, it's now 4.13. I'm about to hop on to my next panel that I'm leading. This is not like a requirement of my job, by the way. I just was asked to lead these panels this week, kind of as like an extra thing because it's early career week. Just wanted to make that clear. <laughs> this is not like an everyday thing. That's why this is like a busy work week because I have like my additional job plus all of this other stuff. I decided to change my outfit for this one. I just wasn't feeling the other one. I just have this like square neck body contour express top. I think this blazer is from Primark and then I just literally have like biker shorts on underneath because no one can see that part. So yeah, let's do it. Since he's playing the song Jose Cuervo, I think that's what it's called. It's like that country song because we're going to this Jose Cuervo event tonight at Big Star in Wicker Park. I love Big Star. Getting ready for that now. Yesterday was pretty chill. I honestly was just getting so exhausted from the work day and I collapsed on my bed and watched the crowd at night, which is honestly the move. I feel like sometimes I'm really bad at like forcing myself to relax. So I'm proud of myself for doing that last night. I'm proud of myself for watching TV. And today was a very productive work day i feel like i got a lot of stuff done so that always feels good and i feel like i got this stuff done because i actually took the time to relax last night and i wasn't like tired so yeah i'm feeling good and i'm excited to leave the house because i have not left the apartment all day so i'm just excited to get out and now i'm gonna do my makeup i am ready this is the fit i swear like every time i vlog i'm wearing this dress it's a perfect dress for like an influencer event i feel like because it's chic but classic really comfortable and it's also not too risque so i just love it. And I'm wearing these chunky sneakers with it that are also from Princess Polly. Still waiting on Princess Polly to sponsor me. I love them. And then just all, oh my god, almost knocked my eye out. And just all of the normal jewelry. I'm excited. It's gonna be a little date night. Oh wait, I don't know if I told you guys, but after the tequila event at Big Star, we also got invited to a rooftop screening of Elvis, which I still haven't seen yet, the movie Elvis with Austin Butler. And it's been out for over a month now, like almost two months. And it's embarrassing because I've wanted to see it since it opened up, but I just never made it out there. And my boyfriend finally agreed to go with me because it's like a cool like outdoor thing. It's the rooftop cinema club. So I can't wait to show you guys that too, because it'll be so fun. I literally have so much energy today. And I think it's because I'm so excited, but also because I gave myself the time to rest last night, which I know sounds so silly, but this is your sign if you're like me and you just like have so many different like projects that you're working on and you just like always want to keep working listen to your body like take a chill pill like i'm really gonna try to start having at least two to three hours every night where i'm just chilling i haven't been doing that i've just been working literally till i fall asleep and that's not good that's my little tangent but anyway we're gonna go to big star now hey, you probably can't hear me but we're at the tequila at the Cuervo 
We made it to West Loop. The event was fun. It was like so loud though. And yeah, I ended up having two margaritas. I came out with more tacos too, which was amazing. So honestly, like we kind of had dinner there, I would say. We have an hour to kill in West Loop before we need to go to the movie. So we're just gonna explore, maybe go to Shake Shack. Hello, beers, just on the window. Okay, we got a rally now because we're going to the movie. And we're really tired. Guys, we're here waiting for the movie to start. It's so pretty. It's magical. It's on the rooftop of a hotel, the Emily Hotel, I think, in West Loop. Today, slight change of plans. This day, you look like a wizard. <laughs> the movie was supposed to start right now, but a couple minutes ago, they came on the intercom and were like, sorry, due to a technical difficulty, we can't play the movie, which was just so weird. Just, I'm really curious what it was. They gave us no information. So then we just called an Uber. Very, very weird. Good morning. <laughs> it is 11. I'm already done with my coffee. I had a vinyasa flow class this morning at 6.30. Last night after the movie that didn't happen, we just went back and I immediately like did my skincare and went to bed. I was feeling really tired. I was honestly just feeling like disappointed from the work day and I was like trying not to think about it last night, but I just like still was because a project that I did at work didn't go how I wanted it to go. And obviously like I just have to remember like I'm 23, I'm still learning. It's just a job, <laughs> but it's so hard to remember that because I feel like sometimes I connect my self-worth to like my output and my like work and how well it performs but that's like literally what capitalism tries to tell us to do and that's just like not what we should do but I know a lot of people do it and I'm not alone so hopefully that's relatable to you that that's what I was struggling with last night I'm in a slightly better mood about it today I did my flow class and then I did like my skincare and my wash routine but I forgot to do like my journaling and affirmations and I went straight to work because I was just anxious about it from last night and I was like I just want to start working so I'm gonna do my affirmation I picked up a package actually from Set active today so I want to open that up for you guys but also this morning when I woke up the kitchen smelled atrocious like awful absolutely awful and I was like oh my god so I have like two candles going on right now I took up the trash and everything and then we realized it wasn't the trash it was the flowers that Vicente got for me they're really stinking if you're in Chicago Foxtrot is like a huge thing I think they have them in other cities too and every time I get flowers from there or Vicente gets flowers from there they smell so bad and they look really pretty but they smell awful we had to throw them away because we didn't want the apartment to smell gross so don't get your flowers from Foxtrot but I went out and box this package I got from Sacti for you guys so excited oh, i forgot i got this it's the bodysuit but like in shorts format oh my god wait i can't wait okay this is everything dramatically on the floor so i'm gonna try these on real quick these sweatpants are insanely comfortable like wow they're a little bit baggy and a little big but i like them like that it just makes them so comfortable i just added the sweatshirt literally so fun oh my god i love this i love a matching set this is really comfortable and really thick too so definitely warmer okay these are the green leggings they fit really well they're just a little long at the bottom, but I expected that because I'm 5'1", so I'm pretty short if you guys didn't know. Okay, this is the shorts bodysuit. It fits like kind of perfectly. It's a little freaky. I was worried it was going to be too big just because I'm so short. So if you're 5'1", this is a good size for you. It's an extra small. Love how the back has this little word that says set on it. This is adorable. I'm going to get so many wears out of this before it gets too cold. And then when it gets too cold, I'm going to buy the one that goes all the way down here. It's now Saturday. Last night we were going to go out to dinner to a new place in Wicker Park, but I was honestly just just so tired from the week so we ended up just staying and getting takeout and then we finally watched Elvis and it was actually such a good movie it's really long so just keep that in mind but I loved it I really like Baz Luhrmann who's the director Tom Hanks wasn't my favorite in it but I thought Austin Butler did a good job and then this morning I took two classes at Sin Yoga Garage so I did a bar class and then immediately after that I did a hot yoga class which was insane I was sweating like so much such a fun thing to do on a Saturday because you can't really do that during the week because there's no time so I'm gonna end off this vlog here a crazy week a little bit all over the place i hope you enjoyed it though I'm posting on my instagram stories all the time if you want to follow me there for more like real-time updates but other than that i'll see you guys next tuesday for another video subscribe so you don't miss it bye